Welcome one and all to this top five plays of the week in Heroes of the Storm. Coming in at number five this week, we are on the Cursed Hollow map where both teams are fighting for this tribute. But the red team outnumber the blue team. Vala, who is hatted by Abatha, comes into play here, forces Gazlo back with multi shot and Hungering Arrow, immediately uses Reign of Vengeance, which kills Artanis and Chen, and finally kills Asmodan. Vala then grabs the tribute, curses the enemy team, and walks away with a hat trick of kills. Valalicious? In our number four spot today, the red team are pushing down the south lane where they managed to get down a tower and the gate. But the blue team, Sonya, disagrees as she uses Leap to get right into the action, while Nova targets Tracer with her ult to try and take her out of the game. The red team's ETC sees it as a good opportunity to use his mosh pit here. However, the lack of damage is very much visible here. This ETC finds himself in a lot of trouble with low HP. He gets cocooned by Anubarak as the blue team begin to form around him into their position, respectively. As the cocoon expires, ETC decides to go south because that's the best option for his escape but make no mistake this etc is getting chased by four players at the moment each of which have their own set of crowd control options available to them just as this etc thinks he may be getting ahead of this blue team nova appears around the corner and slows him down with pinning shot after Li Ming uses Disintegrate, ETC goes and cheats death once again, going close as 68 HP from death. But this ETC is very persistent, very resistant, and never gave up. It wasn't even close. Coming in at number three today, we can see the tribute is spawning at the top end of the map. However, most of the blue team are currently fighting a boss at the bottom end of the map. And Abatha Hatted Artanis takes it upon himself to try and stop this red team from getting this tribute by initially stopping Lunara, then he's forced to go around two players, both Kalthus and Tyrael, to stop Lunara from getting it for a second time. Now the red team's Artanis also arrives, making this blue team's Artanis hopes even grimmer when Purifier's beam is used against him. He remains steadfast, however, and tries to focus on the most significant threat, which is Kalthus. Finally manages to take him down after Tyrael uses his ult to give him invulnerability. With so much damage being eaten by this Artanis, he eventually falls, but he gave his team enough time to get to the scene and gave them the opportunity to finish off the job he started, with Tyrael falling first, followed swiftly by Artanis. Finally, the tribute is gathered by the blue team, the red team gets cursed, and they go on to push with the boss they also got from before. Our number two play for this week begins at the bottom end of the Tomb of the Spider Queen where the red team are pushing hard with their spider but things begin to go a bit pear-shaped as Li Ming and Sylvanas get eaten by Zagara's devouring more. Johanna is trying her best to try and protect her teammates however this does not go exactly as she planned and is forced back by this blue team but fast up with some help from Li Ming boomerangs his hammer into three people getting two kills while Li Ming finishes off Artanis. Finally, Li Ming teleports closer to Jaina and Zagara, uses her Q, finishing them both off, and Falstad and Li Ming secure their team the win. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that brings us to our number one spot for this week. We are on the Towers of Doom Battleground. Both teams are on the verge of winning this game. There is a mercenary camp on the red team's side, which is heading towards the blue team's core at the moment, which will bring the points level. So whoever wins this next boss will win this game. So as we can see, the blue team are battling down this boss, which has just actually spawned. But the red team have other ideas. They know exactly what this blue team are trying to do. Illidan manages to save the day, jumping on the point just as it's about to go to the blue team. Moshpit is thrown out by... By ETC, which inevitably secures the kills for this red team, wins them the game as a whole. What a match, what a finish to a game. These are the sort of games that you want to be a part of. Absolutely amazing.